Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so we're gonna do this video on a situation. Uh, if you guys um, get into your car and you guys have absolutely no power whatsoever. Matter of fact, this scenario with having no power actually essentially starts with having no power to the locks. The you know you guys would have to use. The, uh, the 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 physical key to get, actually get into your car, and then and when you get into your car, you try to start. There's no power whatsoever. It's as if you guys have an entire disconnect of the whole uh, entire electrical system, like as if the battery was completely dead. Now, I had this situation uh, a couple of weeks ago where this happened, and um, the remote wouldn't work, so I had to take the key out got into the vehicle um, and uh, try to start it and it was just power off there's like, no power no beep no beep no sounds nothing on the dash no nothing there's like no electrical power whatsoever um, I, I, I I thought about it went uh, went and looked at the battery thought it was maybe the battery that was the problem and uh, did a uh, check on the battery um, basically um, funny thing is I actually had a battery tester where you could actually plug it into the 12 volt um, it, they sell for like seven to eight dollars at um, Walmart I plugged it in and it showed zero battery power like zero battery power and if you guys have this situation you, you guys are probably thinking that the battery is probably a hundred percent dead probably a dead battery but that wasn't the situation because basically I um, basically it, it was driving fine all day it just happened that I went to McDonald's and um, got a crispy chicken sandwich came back out uh, and that that crispy chicken sandwich is pretty expensive guys but I came back out and uh, it, it, it didn't it didn't start off I you know it I couldn't get into the car there was there was no power whatsoever. I actually did ask for a uh, a jump, and um, I had to ask a couple of people. So I had one person give me a jump, put put the um, cables on, try to start it. Zero, nothing at all. So I was like thinking maybe the battery is like so dead that uh, you'd have to wait maybe like 30, 60 seconds. For it to actually charge up enough to actually get it started. Waited 30, 60 seconds. Still nothing. Nothing. No power whatsoever to the vehicle. No power. Zero power. And at that point, you know, I was thinking, well, it's got to be a couple of things. All right. There's got to be power because uh, there's a, you know, there's a power source. There's got to be power. So I, I knew at that point maybe it was um, a wire that uh, maybe it was the terminals, maybe the positive negative uh, wire had some issues and stuff like that. And I looked at the terminals. The terminals were a little bit um, on the dirty side. All right, the the terminals were on the a little bit on the dirty side. So what I did was. Um, uh, even before that, I looked at the terminals. The terminals were on a little bit dirty side. Clean the terminals, um, and uh, looked at the wiring just to make sure that the wiring uh, had no issues whatsoever. All right. Now there is a chance that if your terminals are so corroded, you're not going to get enough power to the car, and and there's a chance that it's so corroded that you get zero power to the car. That it, it, it's it's a rare chance that that happens, but if that happens, you just want to wiggle the, uh, the 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 power lines or whatsoever, and see if you guys could start up that way, or you hearing any kind of sounds. But the same uh, the situation with this is there was absolutely no sound whatsoever. There's no beeps. There was no sign of any power to the vehicle. So I was looking at terminals. The terminals were cleaned up. Uh, the, the, and, and because of the jump, it didn't, it, it didn't do anything. Even with the terminals cleaned up, I was trying to check the wires just to see if the wires uh, had any kind of issues, whether they were frayed, whether they were broken off, whether um, they were broken off from the terminals themselves and uh, check them out and they were all good. So looked at the ground wire, the ground wire was good. Now I couldn't tell whether the battery had a problem or not. So basically, there was an AutoZone close by me. I went to AutoZone. I actually did um, get a uh, 
a, uh, a, a, a multimeter <clears throat> and, and checked out the battery and the battery actually read like 12 point, uh, 12 point, uh, 12.6 it read 12.6 with the engine uh, not running at all it, it, with nothing running at all 12.6 on just the battery standalone battery uh, alone means that the battery is fully charged up it means the battery is a hundred percent fully charged up <clears throat> So, <clears throat> so at that point, I knew that it wasn't the battery, it wasn't the wiring, because the wiring just looked good, it wasn't the terminal themselves being dirty, corroded, any of that stuff, because they looked good. So my next step after that was to look at the fuses, see if any of the fuses were um, blown, looked at the fuses, um, and uh, the fuses were uh, were good. I couldn't really see anything that, that, that looked kind of weird any kind of burnt any kind of smell anything any, any kind of weird brown residue on any of the fuses they all look good so um i looked at um i, I actually looked at this situation thought to myself there's this there's a there's a main fuse for um for hondas and acras that you definitely want to look for and most of the times 125 amp fuse all right uh hondas and acras have this main fuse the nissans have uh something called a fusible link and essentially uh the nissan sits on the battery positive terminal themselves um the main fuse uh for you know hondas and acras are are, are, are in the fuse box themselves so if you guys have this situation um, depending on what what uh, what brand your vehicle is you guys want to make sure if you guys have no power at all you guys want to look at <clears throat> to see if there is a main fuse for the fuse box for the for the fuse box or the main fuse for the positive line uh, on the positive line because any issues with those main fuses and those main fuses essentially is the first is a, essentially is the first um, protection against any kind of electrical issues so that your fuse box doesn't get uh, destroyed because once your fuse box gets destroyed it'll 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 um, either blow out your fuse box or, or, or blow out uh, the fuses or, or cause um, well, they're not going to cause issues with uh, any of the components in the car because you got the fuses, you got that main fuse, and then you got the fuse box as a secondary as far as individual fuses for those components. But in this situation, you definitely want to look at that main fuse. That main fuse um, was the issue in this case. Now, if you guys have this situation where the main fuse as you guys can see in the picture that's the main fuse it actually is uh the fuse that connects the battery and or the, the whole power source to the rest of the car if that fuse is blown you're gonna get no power to any part part of your car all right so uh, if, if that fuse is blown um what you guys can do to test it out is if you guys have like a wire or something like that a wire you know maybe like a 12 gauge wire you guys could actually connect the two points the two screws that hold in the fuse uh, most of the time if that fuse is blown you can connect the two if you guys have two screwdrivers what you guys could do is you guys could put the tip of one screwdriver on one, one screw put another tip on the screwdriver another screw and then you guys could connect um, the uh, the portions the, the metal portions of the screwdriver most of the time your vehicle will 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 turn on and and, and start and, and 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 work but once you take that off the video the vehicle um, will die because um, that fuse connects the whole entire vehicle the ECU the fuse box all the sensors everything all right, so if you guys have the situation where your car is completely dead and it's not the battery, it's not the terminal, it's not the cable, it's not any of that stuff, you definitely want to check a the main the, the fuse box to for for the main fuse. You definitely want to test that out, see whether that's the issue or not because 99% of the time, 99% of the time, 
Uh, if, if, if it's not the battery, if it's not the terminals, it's not the wiring, if it's not the ground cable, it's definitely going to be the, 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 the main fuse in the fuse box. Or if you have a vehicle with, uh, if you guys have a vehicle with a fusible link that's connected to the, 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 the terminal, the, uh, the positive terminal, um, you definitely want to check out those, uh, those, uh, those kinds of fuses because, um, uh, they are essentially, um, those fuses essentially are, are, are the mechanisms that connect, um, the, your battery or your charging, um, your, your charging system with the rest of the vehicle. All right, guys. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have your own personal, any of your own personal experiences with this, uh, definitely leave a, a comment in the comment section. Um, it might help somebody else out. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff, right, guys? Appreciate your time. Take care.